Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, I am going to talk about 10 reasons why, in my opinion, the Reef Knives Circadian is one of the ultimate, if not the ultimate, EDC fixed blade knives. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of amazing options out there, absolutely fantastic, but when it comes to this particular knife, there's something about this that just calls to me. There is no doubt that this is a premium, fantastic, just wonderfully made and wonderfully featured blade. And well, when it comes down to it, Reef always brings it. And so here, the Reef Knives Circadian, we're gonna take a look at this in detail and I'll tell you why I think this is just a fantastic option. But if you don't agree with me, if you want to leave any comments below, if you don't like any of my thought process, feel free to reach out below, leave some comments, tell me why you think your opinion differs, or if you've had a reef knife and you know how nice these are, leave a comment below, let me know if you agree. Either way, I think you'll find that there are some great discussion points in there, so let's have a little bit of a conversation. But my first talking point is the reef knives quality. I have had a bunch of reef knives at this point every single one of them absolutely fantastic from the quality of the choice of materials to the fit and finish and a couple other things that i think are very important and worth noting first of all made in the usa that is absolutely something that you need to pay attention to the fact of the matter is made in the usa these days in my opinion extremely important and not only that but you know the people at reef knives are awesome they've just been fantastic to work with they're very you know knowledgeable and just cool people in their knife guys and they're you know in this industry at this point and going nowhere so to support reef knives to support the made in the usa and designed in the usa um, sort of genre of products, in my opinion, extremely important, but all of that backed up with the fact that you end up with your carry no cares warranty. These are really backed up by basically like a no matter what warranty. And that speaks to the quality of the product. That speaks to how Reef Knives backs up their products, and that's absolutely going to be the case with the Circadian. So that is my first point, just the fact that it's a reef knife in the first place. Second is the size. This ringing in at around seven and a half inches, a little bit less than that, but right around seven and a half inches, you end up with a three and one quarter inch blade length, and then about three and three quarter inches of usable handle length, which makes this a compact yet very effective size, in my opinion. I love that this is fairly slim in profile, and all things considered, a fairly light option. Weighing in at 4.1 ounces, that is very light. That's a nice lightweight option for a blade that's going to be fairly stout and reasonably robust for your typical EDC needs. Getting into the overall specifications real quick, Reef does report this is 7.25 inches in overall length. The blade length at 3.28 inches, that cutting edge 3.13 inches. This is roughly one and a quarter inches, 1.23 inches in overall blade height, a little less than an eighth of an inch with that stock thickness being 0.12. The handle 3.97 inches, 1.09 inches tall and about 0.72 inches thick. So again, my second point here being the fact that this is absolutely an awesome size for an EDC fixed blade. So that to me is about ideal. But number three is the blade size itself. You end up with enough overall cutting edge, yet it's going to be compact and not too long. This is going to be perfect for general tasks, your ability to open packaging, your ability to do some food prep if you want, the ability to cut your zip ties or anything that you need to do, general utility tasks. So the overall blade length 
in my opinion, is just about perfect. And again, at 3.28 inches in overall length, and then 3.13 inches on that cutting edge, you end up with a fixed blade that's as compact as a typical folding knife, yet obviously you get the strength and durability of that full tang design. So again, my third point is the overall blade size. Point number four, the handle size. Now I have a large size hand. You'll notice that this has a little bit of an indexing choil, but my hand absolutely just enveloping that perfectly. And this handle melts into my hands. What I like is everything is softened and rounded in the perfect locations so that even when I grip this and through the palm area, it's not leaving any hot spots. It's not leaving any sharp corners or edges to damage my hands and especially after long-term use. So that definitely lends itself to the EDC tasks very nicely. With the overall handle length being around four inches, reef knives reporting around 3.97 inches. And then again, at 1.09 inches tall and 0.72 inches thick, it's fairly small and compact, yet interestingly fills out your hands nicely at the same time. So I don't have any problems with this grip. I don't have any problems with my ability to index. And I love the way that they've introduced some of the machining lines in there to aid in the overall grip. To me, that is a very effective pattern. And I like that a lot. So the handle is just a perfect shape perfect size and definitely lends itself to the EDC task. So that's my point number four. But number five is the choice of blade material, MagnaCut. Now it is kind of all the rage these days. Uh, definitely companies are taking advantage of the fact that it's kind of the hot steel. However, for a knife of this size and shape and general use profile, I would say that's a fantastic option. MagnaCut is going to be very corrosion resistant, if not entirely stain resistant. It does have stainless properties, generally speaking, but it's the overall durability that gives you the long-term edge retention that you'd hope to get from an EDC knife. Reef has always done a nice job with their steel and their heat treat. I am more familiar uh, really at this point with their 3V blades. Most of the ones that I have are CPM 3V and they've been super tough, super durable, and the heat treat has been absolutely spot on. With the MagnaCut, we're looking at 61 to 63 HRC. And I can tell you, I can tell you for sure, you are going to beat on this little knife and it is going to love it. It should come back to hair popping sharp, fairly easy, as long as you don't chunk an edge. I bet you a nice fine ceramic rod and your leather strop will do wonders for this steel. I love the overall finish being that tumbled finish. That's going to be nice to minimize, uh, you know, things binding onto it like corrosion or, you know, different sort of gunk and grime or, you know, anything like that. So in my opinion, having that tumbled finish just works very, very well. So this right here is a black canvas micarta. It really does strike the balance between something that's grippy, yet soft enough that it doesn't beat up on your hands. And especially the way they rounded everything out, the way they've countersunk the screws. So you can see that the screws there nicely countersunk. And they've even chamfered the edges on the lanyard hole and everything like that. Going into, and it's not really scallops, but kind of like nicely rounded guard on the front. So you end up enveloping the entire tang with the scales, which makes that very comfortable in your grip. And especially when you reverse grip, getting on that reverse grip, you don't end up crushing on your pinky, which I like. You can see that works out very well for the reverse grip where your pinky ends up nesting nicely inside that guard, but the guard is fully wrapped in the handle material. So it's comfortable and it just works extremely well. So that is the next key point to me, is their choice of handle material. But in my opinion, the knife wouldn't necessarily perform as 
incredibly well as it could if you don't get the blade shape right. But in my opinion, the circadian blade shape is awesome for EDC. The way the tip just angles down, yet it's still pretty straight. So it will allow for nice straight on penetration, the ability to dig into things easily. I can get way up on this, get on there and dig out splinters or anything like that. So this will strike the balance between my EDC knife and something that's a good camp companion. But even at that, You'll notice that the overall shape has a sweet belly to it, but it's not overly aggressive. It's just that sweet spot between utility and general function. So in my opinion, my point number seven, that overall blade shape is just awesome and really does lend itself to great general EDC tasks. But point number eight, that's all well and good, but if you don't get the right grind, it does leave the knife limited. In this case, I feel like they got it right. It's a very high saber, almost a full flat, goes way up high to a shoulder, but that's gonna lend itself to the ability to do some more robust tasks, which I love. And when you look at the overall tip, it is refined, yet it's not dainty, and I love that too. So I feel like the overall grind is literally perfect. The edge geometry I will have to test. Now, that is one of my other points, is that Reef always gets the edge geometry right. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb, and having not tested this yet, saying that my point number nine is going to be that their edge geometry is going to be absolutely dialed in. You're going to have that nice control, the ability to find the edge easily, yet it shouldn't be weak. I'm hoping that we're going to find it's robust enough. So I'm going to go out on a limb and without testing yet, I'm going to say point number nine. And the reason why people are going to love this knife is because the edge geometry is just dialed in. Again, I only say that because that's my experience with reef knives, not because at this point I have even tested this, but I'm willing to go there. And point number 10, they're beautiful leather sheaths. Now this is an ambidextrous sheath. In fact, it's kind of funny because they did stamp this with their logo, which is on this side, but that's kind of more set up for a lefty. Now you do have the ability to pocket ride this wonderfully. And in fact, it does come with an ulti clip, which if you haven't used these are great for front pocket carry. I have literally just been slipping this in my front pocket and I love it. I don't need the clip at this point. The leather is beautiful. I love the way it looks. You can see not only is it riveted, but they also have the eyelets so that it leaves this flexible and versatile. It's a nice deep ride. So that pouch sheath is deep enough that you bury the knife all the way in there. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous look. So all in all, that is point number 10. But to me, the Reef Knives Circadian checks all of the boxes. It hits on such a high level and I have been loving carrying this. Now again, I'm very specific in the way I review. I'm very specific in the way I approach things. I haven't really used this. I've done some super basic tasks, but I can tell just by looking, just by feeling, just by holding the knife and having it in my pocket, knowing what I know about reef knives, knowing what I know about other companies and competitive options, this in my opinion, is going to be one of the, if not the ultimate EDC fixed blades, at least in my collection. And I have an extremely robust collection. So I'm impressed already. I love this little knife. Thank you so much to the people at Reef who did provide these for review. Check out their website. Keep an eye on availability. These things are already available and they have gone quickly. At the time of this video, there are still a few options out there. So if you're interested in one of these, jump on it now. They are going to have limited runs and they will come back from time to time. But if you want one of these blades, I suggest getting on it now. You will not be disappointed. If you've never had a reef knife, get one now. If you've had other models, you are going to love this one too. But you already knew that.
So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.